Hello friends, this video on probability part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. We will start our chapter. The first topic we had is conditional probability. The first question is why should we study conditional probability? So let's take an example. The, the question says we have to find the probability that it's Monday. In this case, on a particular day, you can have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Right? There are seven days a week. So you can have either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Right? And all are equal probable. Right? So if you see, the probability of getting Monday will be 1 by 7. In fact, for Tuesday also 1 by 7, Wednesday also 1 by 7, everything will be 1 by 7. These things we know, we have done that, right? Probability of getting a mon Monday is 1 by 7. Now there is a trick. The trick is, it says that we have to find the probability of getting a Monday given that it is a weekday. It has already be given, been given that it is a weekday. Now we have to find the probability of getting a Monday. So there is a condition, condition that it is a weekday. Such kind of probability is called conditional probability. So if you see that the first question was we have to just find the probability of getting a Monday. Normal probability question. The second question says that we have to find the probability of getting Monday given that it is a weekday. If it is given it is a weekday, this is a condition given, right? So such kind of probability questions where you are given a condition, such kind of questions are nothing but conditional probability questions. How will you solve that? So now that means for a given day, it can be weekday or it can be weekend, right? It can be weekday or it can be weekend. So weekday can be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Weekend can be Saturday, Sunday, right? And it is given that it is a weekday. Now on this, I have to find Monday. So on this, I can have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now if you see, getting the probability of Monday given it is a weekday is 1 by 5. Why? Because now we are given it is a weekday. So we will start from here. We will start from here. Our sample space is this one. My sample space is not all the days of week. My sample space is weekday. Correct? Thus in this case, the probability that it is a Monday, given it is a weekday, it will be 1 by 5. So if you see, both are different. In this case, I got probability as probability that it is a Monday, given it is a weekday, was 1 by 5. And that is how you write probability of getting a Monday, given it is a weekday, is nothing but 1 by 5. So if you don't understand this example, don't get uh, nervous because we'll have more examples to solve to clear the concept. The only key takeaway, uh, key takeaway from this slide is that conditional probability is something like this. Find the probability of something given that some condition. So I have been given some condition with that condition actually my probability changes. So if I ask there is no condition given what is the probability is Monday it's 1 by 7 because everything is equally probable. Now I'm given that it's a weekday my sample space is this now. Now from this I have only 5 options, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Since I have only 5 options, the probability of Monday given it is a weekday is 1 by 5. This is one example of conditional probability. We will take more example. Let us take one more example. In a throw of die, in a roll of die, what is the probability of getting 3? So you throw a die, you may get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, correct? Six possible outcomes, all are equally probable. So probability of getting any of these numbers, probability of getting one, probability of getting two, three, all will be same and that will be equal to one by six. So that is my answer, very simple. Now there's a tweak in the question. The question says, in the role of a die, what is the probability of getting three given that the number is odd number? It is given that the number is odd number. That is, I'm looking for probability of three given number is odd. That means you throw a die, you either get odd or you get even. Odd can be 1, 3, 5, 
e1 can be 2 4 6 correct now i am being told that i have been given that my number is odd now i have to find the probability of getting 3 so if you see now there are three options 1 3 5 so probability of getting 1 given number is odd will be 1 by 3 similarly probability of getting 3 given the number is odd is also 1 by 3 and probability of number getting 5 given the number of odd will also be 1 by 3 and if you see the answer changes both are probability of getting 3 but in first case there was no condition in second case there was a condition that the number is odd correct so this is example of condition probability you have to find the probability of getting something given there is a condition hope you understand with this example what is conditional probability you are to find the probability of getting something where some condition is given correct let's take one more example from a group of two girls and three boys one student has to be selected now we have to find the probability of Radha being selected that's a girl being selected given the student selected this girl so let's suppose we have three guys and three girls let's name this guys this guy is let's suppose Amit this guy is Sumit and this guy is Rohit and this girl is let's suppose Radha and this girl is let's suppose Sita right I have to find the probability of Radha being selected. Let's suppose my condition is only this much. Probability of Radha being selected. So if you see probability of Radha, I have to select only one person. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that will be 1 by 5. Why? I have to select one person. They are 5 persons. I can select one. So probability of Radha being selected is 1 by 5. If I have to choose one person out of this 5. Very simple. But now the condition is changed. The condition says where to find the probability of Radha being selected given the student selected is girl. So now I do what I do. I can do like this. You select, you select either girl or you select either guy. One condition. In girl you can select Radha and Sita. In guy you can select Amit, Sumit and Rohit. Amit, Sumit and Rohit. Now I have to find the probability of girl being selected given the selected student is girl. So I have this condition is true. Now I have to select either Radha or Sita. Now probability of selecting Radha given the person selected is girl will be 1 by 2. Right? And probability of selecting Sita given student selected is girl also 1 by 2. I hope you understand this because I am told that the person selected is a girl, the student selected is a girl. Since this is true, I will start from here. Now from this, if this is my benchmark, probability of selecting Radha is 1 by 2 and Sita is also 1 by 2. Correct? And that's how the difference is. Let's take one more example. Let's toss three coins. We have three Indian coins and we are tossing that one rupee coin and what we can get is sample space these things we have already done in the class 11 if you don't understand these things please watch class 11 videos probability videos the sample space can be head 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 tail head tail head this can be sample space how the first guy can be head or tail right this guy can also be head tail this guy can also be head tail right so each has 2 to the power 3 is 8. So there are 8 possible combinations we have. So these were the sample space. Now let E be the event at least 2 head appears. And F be the event the first coin shows 10. Correct? So in that case E says that 2 head appear. At least 2 head appear. So in that case you have 2 head or 3 head. Right? 2 or 3 head. So these are my sample space for E and F be the event where it says that first is tail. So first is tail, 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 tail. This is my event space for F. Now I have to find the probability of getting 
two heads given the first coin is tail. Please note, I have to find the probability of getting two heads, at least two heads given the first coin is tail. That means I need to find P E condition F. That is what I have to find. And let's see how can I find this. Right? So the condition is F. The condition is F that is first the first coin is tail. What is so if you see that means when I toss I get either F or I, I get F complement because F was my condition, right? So that thus two I have to put either F or F complement. Correct? When you say F, that means first F is nothing but first coin tail. And F dash is nothing but first coin head. Hope you understand this. When you toss, since I am looking for a condition probability, I will go for F and F dash. So first coin is tail and this guy's first coin is head. So if my first coin is tail, I know already F is nothing but T H H this guy whatever written here T H T T T H and T T the first is tail so uh, the first is head I just move remove everything but tail I'll make it H so that will become my cut set for this H H T this will become H T H and this guy will become H T H this guy is T T T this is my f dash because if you see if you add these two what you get is all eight eight and these are my eight correct now my question is probability of getting at least two heads at least two heads given that first coin is still that means this is my condition from this I have to find condition of getting two heads at least two heads that is two or more than two this guy is true yes two heads this guy two head no two head no two head no this is the only place where i am getting two heads right so this is one out of how many one two three four one out of right favorable event is this and total event is four so my probability of getting first i mean at least two heads given that my first coin is tail will be one by four and this is one little difficult example of conditional probability, right? So whatever you are asked, you write in this fashion, P, E, condition F, you write the set of E, you write the set of F, and then with the uh, chart also, with a graphical approach also, you can solve this question. We'll, we'll discuss one more better way to solve this questions, uh, to solve conditional probability question, but till now we'll focus only on the graphical way to understand the concept why we are going for the conditional probability. Now, instead of three coins, let's suppose we have 3000 pair coins and we have similar question like that, right? You do a toss, how will you do? The same question which I did now, now let's suppose the question is, we have to find the probability of getting at least 300 heads. You toss 3000 coins, given that uh, the first coin is still, how will you do? It is very difficult, no? It's very difficult to create such a big sample space and do. Thus, we'll use a different formula, an easy formula to solve such kind of questions. Let me derive such the formula. The formula is, so P, let's suppose S is to F, find the probability of getting S given F is my condition, right? There is nothing but P of S intersection F by P of F. This is the form we'll use. Probability of getting something, this is my condition. This is my condition, right? There is nothing but P of S intersection F by P of F. Let us derive this formula. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.